Good evening, everyone. I'm Joe Torres. And I'm Tanya Rivero. The Jennings Creek wildfire is now nearly 90% contained, providing some relief for families who at this point last night were worried about the fate of their homes. Firefighters say a voluntary evacuation helped them protect more than 160 homes. New drone video you can see here shows that conditions look much calmer tonight. Still, the fire remains disruptive to daily life with smoke drifting into neighborhoods neighboring communities and schools closed once again in Greenwood Lake tomorrow. With the very latest, here's Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon. The smoke rising tonight from fire lines along Sterling Mountain looks nothing like it did last night. A local photographer captured this time lapse overnight after the flames breached a fire line. A small setback after fire crews got the Jennings Creek wildfire about 90% contained. They're trying desperately right now to prevent this from happening again tonight. It's just so dry and there's so much fuel on the ground to burn these uh, these forest fires. It's very difficult for us to get them during the nighttime. So during the day we have to do everything we can to pound this fire and push it back. And during the day they made headway. It was smoky but less windy and helicopters were key scooping up lake water to drop on the flames. The Greenwood Lake community is filled with messages of support for hardworking responders. People in about 140 homes voluntarily evacuated that Sterling Mountain area last night so that fire equipment could take over the steep and narrow roads. I can say uh, very confidently that at no time houses were in, in danger or life. Uh, Again, the, the evacuation up there was strictly to uh, give the firefighters the ability to move around. The residents can stay at the local middle school if they need to, but some rain is finally expected this week. I wish that rain was coming tomorrow versus Thursday, yes. Tonight, more controlled fire lines to protect the homes. And then when the fire comes to it, it's a fire line. So that's what that line is doing. The fire wants to go further, but mm -hmm. the fuel is exhausted. Orange County Executive Steve Newhouse declared a state of emergency this afternoon. It essentially closes the school tomorrow one more day, so this will be the third day it will be closed. And it also closes that whole road, East Shore Drive, across from the lake from us, which allows firefighters and park rangers to continue to push that fire back. Including the planned burnout operations, this fire has now consumed more than 5,300 acres. New York State Forest Rangers continue to lead the effort here, along with firefighters from all over New York and New Jersey, and a wildland firefighting team from Montana. In Greenwood Lake, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.